Last year, our next guest was busy dodging bullets alongside Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now she's on the road for the final leg of her Live, Laugh, Love stand-up comedy tour. Tickets are available now. Please welcome Fortune Feimster. <laughs> Good to see you. Nice to see you. I saw you a couple of weeks ago. I know. We were hanging out for yeah, a minute. Right. Yeah, we're hanging out. I tried out. to get invited to your Super Bowl party and found out you weren't having one. I know. I felt bad. Yeah, I would definitely have invited you. Next year. Where'd no you pressure. wind up watching the game? Um, At a friend's house. Okay. Yeah. Right. But you put me ahead of that friend. Yeah, because I heard that you throw a good party. You man the grill. I do. There's I'm in the snacks. grill. I do. I don't kid yeah. around. Yeah, yeah. I saw you and I made a beeline for you. I was like, <laughs> what are you doing for the Super Bowl? I did. I went to Las Vegas yeah. for the Super Bowl. So, well, it's very good to see you. you How's too. everything? How's your va happy Valentine's happy Day? Happy Valentine's Day. Are you having a thing? Um, or, or like with you? Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> sure. sure. Why sure, not? <laughs> Um, your wife we, Jax, yeah, right? Yeah, my wife Jax. Uh, you know, we keep it pretty low key. We're nine years in, so it gets. Thank you. <laughs> Was it always boring. was it always like that, or did you make a big deal about it at one time? I used to try to like you know plan a romantic dinner, but I did make one mistake early on in our relationship. I decided to use a gift card on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Someone went, oh no! <laughs> I had a gift card that was given to me, a very expensive gift card. Never been to this restaurant before, and I was like, you know, let's go to this restaurant, have a romantic dinner. I'm like, order whatever you want, let's do it. And when the bill came, I tried to, you know, slyly do the little, you know. And the the waitress came, and she was like, hey, excuse me, um, have you used this gift card? I'm like, mm mm, mm mm. <laughs> She's like, all right, and she leaves and. Jack's like, what? I'm like, I don't know what that was. <laughs> and then she comes back. She goes, I'm sorry. I'm on the phone right now with a gift card company. I don't uh, know what's going on. You're sure you haven't used this? I'm like, no, I haven't. So if you just want to like, mm, we'll get out of here. <laughs> she comes back for a third time and then proceeds to say the word gift card more than anyone I've ever heard <laughs> in my entire life. She's like, I'm sorry, I'm still on the phone with a gift card company. The gift card doesn't work. I don't know what's wrong with this gift card. Normally with our gift cards, we don't have any problem, but this gift card, I don't know, it's being very unruly. So it's just the thing with gift cards. I'm like, give me the gift card. <laughs> give me the gift card. I mean, it wasn't even like a cute credit card. It, I had to like print it out, eight by 11, like, uh, And I ended up paying for this meal. It never worked. Like, they were acting like I was running a gift card scam. Yeah. And then as I'm leaving the restaurant, Jack is like, why didn't you just tell me you had a gift card? I'm like, I don't know. It's kind of embarrassing. The manager steps in front of us. He goes, hey, I heard you tried to use a gift card. I'm so sorry about this gift card. Normally with our gift cards, they work. But I don't know why this gift card didn't. So now I'm sticking with flowers. No more gift no cards. No more gift cards. Yeah. I'm with you on that. <laughs> Something bad about the gift card. Yeah, especially, especially at a Valentine's restaurant. Day and, yeah. Yeah, it's do you make a card? Do you write out something beautiful? Yeah, but I do, you know, being a comedian, I do like to, to keep it spicy. Mm -hmm. So I buy like a card that has like a button in it that's like never been sexier and <laughs> give it to her. And, I mean, I will pay like $15.99 just for that button. <laughs> And I try to write something sweet, and then she's like, never been sick here. Okay. I'm like, you do have to wear it because it was expensive. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And I had to spend all that money at that restaurant because my gift card didn't work. And then she will affix a never been sexier button yeah. to whatever she's wearing. Exactly. Oh, I like that. Yeah. yeah I'm romantic. Why do you me. think that is that when you write? Because I just actually wrote a card for my wife and I had to put something stupid at the end. Oh, why yeah? Do, yeah. Why do we have to do that? I don't know. It's hard to be vulnerable. <laughs> I guess maybe you're right. <laughs> um, speaking of vulnerable, mm -hmm. you're, uh, you're, Netflix series, Foo Bar, yes. has, uh, has been picked up for a second yeah. season. Yeah, thank you. And I say vulnerable because you co-star with, with a person who is invulnerable, Arnold Schwarzenegger yes. is your co-star. Arnold, let's go, come on, let's do it. And you, Jim, we talked about this a little when I saw you, you genuinely love him. I do, but we hang out. I mean, I haven't seen him in a minute. He's kind of busy filming all these commercials and stuff. He's but, got animals uh, and whatnot. Yeah, he, yeah. I've, I've met his 
uh, he has a little mini horse and a donkey, Whiskey and Lulu. I've been yeah. over to his house. We're pretty tight. Yeah, huh? I met Danny DeVito there. Danny and, DeVito yeah. lives at his house now? <laughs> <laughs> he, he was at a charity event, and the two oh. of them were hanging out, and I took a picture between them. It looked like a remake of Twins, <laughs> and that they were my dads or something. <laughs> And, uh, and the, so you have spent personal time with him. Yeah, we've gone to a workout. Um, I've, I've joined him. Oh, at, you worked out with him? I did, because I, I was like, I kind of know what this is like, you know? I mean, and I need to work out. Um, but so I, you said, can I go to the gym said, with you? I, yeah, he's like, come on, let's go. You know, go to the gym. <laughs> And uh, I showed up, and you know he would do these like big weights, and then he was like, "All right, your turn." And then he would put on like five pounds. I'm like, I can do more than that. But he was treating he was me like condescending, a dainty. is yeah, what he was. was. Like a, yeah, I'm not a dainty lady. So you wanted more weight? Yeah. Oh. So I feel like with season two, now he's gonna hopefully like you know let me pump some real you iron. Get to now. ten pounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ten pounds yeah. for sure. You're a comedy tour. Why is it called Live, Laugh, Love? Um, you know those signs, live, laugh, love? Yeah. You probably have one in your house. I do not. <laughs> but my mom does. I yeah. mean, right? <laughs> yeah. My mom does too. And yeah. uh, I think it's just, you know, a staple in a lot of these homes. And yeah. They make me laugh. I'm trying to bring them back and... Um... <laughs> Yeah, I know those. Yeah, yeah it's always a weird moment when you walk into somebody's house and they're like, "Oh, yeah, you you, yeah, you went to uh, to uh, Home Goods right. and bought a lot of messages. A lot of a lot of words uh, that are framed. <laughs> yeah. I I used to kind of make fun of it, and then Jax moved in. When she moved in, she's like, "What is this?" I had like gather and eat and live, laugh, love. Yeah. I was like, "I'm my mom. Oh my god." <laughs> so it, this this whole set is a lot about you know. Uh, my mom and my wife and the three of us and how we connect, so it just felt like... You uh, live, laugh, and love. Yeah, I exactly. guess you'd be laugh. <laughs> yeah, I'm laugh. Uh, uh, Jax is love, and my mom's alive. <laughs> <laughs> Fortune Thieves are everybody. You can see her on tour here in L.A. on March 23rd and at the Beacon Theater in New York, March 30th. Tickets are available at fortunethemester.com. Thank you very much. Jimmy. We'll be right back with Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton.